Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to quickly introduce to all of you a really great extension that was introduced to me by a fellow moderator from the Facebook group Bitmoji Craze for Educators. It's a, a free extension that I've been using. Uh, if you're someone who loves to match colors of the resources that you're creating for your students, business, whatever you decide to do, um, this, is, this is definitely an essential. Uh, the extension is called Colorzilla. So if you go into a new tab and then you type in Colorzilla, as I am doing right here, it should be the very first link that pops up. And this is what it's going to look like. This is the icon with all the hues um, that, you know, in the circle. Okay, so obviously mine is already added. Yours will say something different in this blue box. I think it'll say add to Chrome, uh, something of that sort. Uh, once you add it and you want to identify a color, uh, colors have codes. So for example, if I go up to the little puzzle piece here, this is where my extensions are. Yours might just pop up along the top. Okay, that's not the way mine are set up. And then you click on where it says Colorzilla. Okay, at the top here, there's this little eyedropper and then it says Page Color Picker Active. If you go ahead and you click on that, Okay, you'll see here as I'm scrolling through, the box up here is changing color depending on what my little cross is over. Okay, so if I really loved that turquoise, which obviously it's one of my favorite colors as I am wearing that color on my tank top in the banner of the page. Okay, I can go ahead and click it. And it says here, color copy to the clipboard. Okay, then if I go to a project that I'm doing, let's say I wanted to make the background of this heart that particular color, I could just click on the image, go to my paint can, click on where it says solid, and then click custom. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit control V or I can just paste the code in. And when I select okay, this is the exact color from the web page. Um, I use this extension often when I'm creating my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Um, I used it here. Okay, I wanted to add the word playlist to digital notebooks, and I was able to use Colorzilla to identify the colors in the foreground and the background of the letters here and use it to create another word. So uh, I wish that I identified the font as easily as it does the colors, but you know, one thing at a time. So if you're looking for a really easy way to go ahead and identify colors and to then utilize them, you know, with whatever resources you're creating, Colorzilla is great. Um, also here, once you have used the color, it will save it to um, the extension. So you see here where it says pick color history. Okay, it'll pop up here with the colors that I have identified. Um, I, on my other computer, there are tons more. This is my, my new device. So there, I haven't, you know, looked up too many so far, but these are the ones that I have done. Um, this one being the newest, which is the one I've just searched with all of you. Um, and, you know, you can just go ahead and click any of those and then hit okay for it to be saved. Um, but like I said, this is, this is really, really a, a great free extension for you to download if you are very particular about your colors and you want everything to match. If this video helped you and you liked watching it, feel free to like it, but please don't forget as always to subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell so that you don't miss my future resources. Take care everyone.